A NASCAR Camp World Truck Series has been officially decided at Phoenix, and we've got a first-time champion to discuss about. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. I just got done watching NASCAR Camp World Truck Series race from Phoenix Raceway. We're going to talk about the champion and talk about the overall race as a whole. Let's begin by talking about the champion. The guy who won the 2022 Camp World Truck Series champion is Zane Smith. This is Zane Smith's first ever Camp World Truck Series title. This is his third attempt to win a championship. He has finished second the last two years in the championship, but unlike the last two years, Third time is a charm, and he is now a Camping World Truck Series champion. Absolutely massive congrats to him on winning the championship. Zay Smith, by far, was the best driver throughout the race for all the championship drivers. Coming into the weekend, I knew he was going to be a threat. He's kind of been off and on throughout this class, but he did have a very strong run at Phoenix. Not Phoenix, Homestead. And he came here to Phoenix and looked really, really good in the practice sessions and qualified on the pole of lane race on the front row and pretty much dominated one stage one, one stage two. What basically kind of changed the game a little bit, though, for Zane Smith was a late caution that came, well, basically pit stops kind of hurt Zane Smith throughout the race. But all the times he came down pit road, he lost a ton of positions on pit road and had to basically crawl his way back up front. But he was able to charge his way back up front to be able to go out and win both stages. Passed John Henry Machek to win stage two and was able to get back up in the front. The final caution of the race would come out around, well, basically one of the later cautions came out for Haley Deegan. Haley Deegan basically had, I believe, a tire go down. Something went wrong with her truck, and she hit the outside wall. And then the teams had to basically make a decision on if you're going to come down pit road or going to stay out. Well, Ben Rhodes, who was the fourth best, basically the fourth of the four drivers competing for the championship, he decided to take two tires. Well, and I believe Majeski took two tires as well, while the rest of the drivers in the field, including Chandler Smith and Zane Smith, decided to take four tires. Meanwhile, Stuart Friesen and Carson Osobar, who had penalties, I believe, in the race, they had to start up front because they decided to go ahead and stay out to play a strategy role to try to see if they can go out there and win the race. And, of course, Stuart Friesen was competing for an owner's championship, so I cannot entirely blame him. Going into the final restarts, Ben Rose got a really, really strong run. And actually got to the lead with around six or seven laps to go in the race. But then eventually Zane Smith made a big bullseye four-wide move to get basically up into third or fourth position. And then he basically had to battle Ty Majeski as he tried to get around Ben Rose. But then Ty Majeski, who was a contender for the championship as well, he unfortunately ended up spinning out, bringing out the final caution in this race. In the final two laps of this race, it came down to a really good finish between Chandler Smith, Ben Rose, and Zane Smith. On the restart, Zane Smith sent it basically way down to the bottom of the racetrack <clears throat> into the dog lake and was able to get the race lead. Then Chandler Smith tried to get back to the inside, and they had a really strong battle at the end of this race. But at the end of the day, Zane Smith was able to clear for the lead. Ben Rose on the last corner tried to go ahead and pull up there to get around here, and it would not be enough. And Zane Smith went on to win the 2022 Nassar Camping World Truck Series Championship with his fourth win of 2022. First of all, huge congratulations to Zane Smith on winning the Truck Series title. Zane Smith, in my opinion, was the best truck all night long. I think he was the best performer and definitely deserves the win. A great strategy call by Chris Lawson, who, of course, is a former race car driver himself, who drove for Riss, Riss, Rick Russell's uh, second chance motorsports team back in the Xfinity Series. That team that really didn't do much, and that team that really kind of didn't end up going anywhere because the guy was kind of a, a crook. But anyways, back to talking about this. Congratulations, Chris Lawson, as being the championship crew chief. And Zane Smith, who, you know, just a year ago, Zane Smith got fired from GMS Motorsports because GMS decided to downsize to two-truck operation where they basically laid off a ton of their drivers, including uh, Chase Purdy and uh, Sheldon Creed and also Zane Smith. But Sheldon Creed went up to Xfinity and Chase Purdy ended up going to Torrey. And now, basically, they kind of have brought uh, Chase Purdy back to drive for KBM next year. But Zane Smith, they took a chance for front row. Front row, of course, Todd because, of course, Todd Gillen, he jumped up to the Cup Series to drive the number 38 NASCAR Cup Series car, taking over for Anthony Alfredo. They took a chance on Zane Smith. And I knew that Zane Smith was going to be a big benefactor going into this ride this year. But for him to finally win a Truck Series title and finally get it done after three tries is absolutely phenomenal and absolutely crazy to see. Congratulations to Zane Smith, and also really happy because of the RC Brands, a sponsor. RC Racing is one of the big reasons kind of why I got into racing. My dad was a big RC racer. We own an RC shop, and we sell basically Horizon and Arm RC Brands. So if they end up watching this video, we basically support you guys, and we do what we do. But I'm really happy for Zane Smith. I've been a big fan of his. He really wanted to win this so bad. He basically said he wanted to win this more than anybody in the world, and tonight he clearly proved that. Like I said at the beginning of the video, Zane Smith did kind of struggle through the middle portion 
portion of the year. Well, he didn't struggle, but wasn't as consistent up front in winning races because his last win before this win at Phoenix came at Kansas. But they've probably been preparing that 38 truck for the end of the year because they probably thought they were going to be competing for a Camper World Truck Series title. They made the championship race at Phoenix, and now Front Row Motorsports, and only I think their third or fourth year in the Camper World Truck Series, are champions. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely amazing to see that Zane Smith is a champion. Let's talk about the other guys competing for a championship. Ty Majeski ended up spinning out. Majeski was probably a third to fourth place truck most of the evening. Probably actually a fifth to sixth place truck most of the evening. That truck never really came in. He had a chance at the end, but unfortunately ended up crashing out and finishing 20th. Chandler Smith, I think, had the second best truck. And the only truck I really think throughout most of the evening that really could compete with Zane Smith. Near the end of the race, he actually was catching Zane Smith at points through the traffic. And I thought maybe if we kept going green near the end before the Haley Deegan issue, I thought that there was a chance that that was possible possibly going to happen, but that did not end up coming to fruition, and he ends up finishing third in the championship. Ben Rose, like I said, probably the worst performer of the four trucks tonight. He ends up finishing fourth in the champ, second in the championship, nearly went back-to-back. -back. That would only been, I think, the second time in Truck Series sister that we had a back-to-back -back champion, which is really, really hard in this playoff format. You normally don't have back-to-back -back champions, so that would have been extremely impressive that if Ben Rose was able to do that. It would have been really cool to hear his interviews, but for a team like Front Row Motorsports is having a big up-and-coming in the Cup Series where they're really starting to show their potential, and for them to now to be now NASCAR Truck Series champions is only their third year in the Truck Series is absolutely phenomenal. Next year, I expect big things on the team. Of course, Zane Smith will be racing in five or six cup starts next year, including the Daytona 500. We'll have to qualify his way in and a couple other races as well. I'm expecting big things, and I cannot wait. But massive congratulations and huge congratulations to Zane Smith on winning the title. Now, talking about the race really quick, honestly, this race actually was pretty good in my opinion. I'll be honest. I don't personally think Phoenix should host a championship race, but this race was actually really, really good in my opinion. You had a lot of good battles up front, a lot of side-by-side -side racing for the lead, especially. I think over half the race we were seeing side-by-side -side and the leaders really close together and doing some awesome racing, and he had a fantastic finish. So the score for tonight's championship race overall, I'm going to give it overall a eight out, actually an 8.5 out of 10, actually a 9 out of 10, because I thought it was actually a really good championship race. I think Xfinity and Trucks are going to have a lot to live up to, but Xfinity always puts on a good show, so there's a good chance the Xfinity Series race will probably be good. But anyways, congratulations to Zane Smith on winning the Truck Series title. So anyway, that is where today's Truck Series reactions to the champion. I want to thank guys for watching. Please let us subscribe to the channel. Notifications on speed notify when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And support me on Patreon as well. Link description below over that. And combo your thoughts on today's champion. What are your thoughts about Zane Smith winning the Camp World Truck Series title? Let me know in the comments below. Tomorrow on my channel, we're going to have the NASCAR Xfinity Series race review and championship reaction to that. And then on Sunday, we'll have the Cup Series championship reaction to that. And then later in the week, we've got a lot of other content dropping on the channel. Lots of content on the way during the off season, and I cannot wait to share it with you. So anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. I'll see you guys next time for some more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.